got a new restaurant in Clawson that does not serve bugs. It's bringing barbecue and ice cream together in a whole new way. The only seating is outdoors, which will be great once the weather gets warm. Yeah, but the carry out business keeps this place hopping. Michelle Oliver is uh, taking us to dine in the D at the Woodpile Barbecue Shack. As soon as you walk up to the door, you can already smell the meat cooking. But here, they serve their barbecue with a side of something different, ice cream. Treat Dreams owner Scott Maloney says it all got started after a conversation he had at the Pig & Whiskey Festival. I've known one of the partners, Zach Kidzikowski, for years, and he mentioned that uh, the old A&W in Clawson was for sale. So he was looking into it and I said, you know, Zach, I would love to have Treat Dreams in Clawson as well. So they combined Zach's barbecue and Scott's ice cream, and now customers can taste the results. We actually feature a barbecue sundae, which has candied bacon on it, uh, salted caramel. We do a bourbon caramel sauce on that. So that's been very popular. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. You can't eat dessert before dinner. So let's talk to the master of the pit, Bubba Coddington. Uh, Pitmaster is in charge of uh, making our meats for the day, uh, trimming, rubbing, ordering and uh, making sure everything's smoked to the, our specifications. Seems like everybody's a pit master now, so that's why I gave my moniker the, the pit boss. They smoke their meats fresh every day with shag bark hickory. Which is native to Michigan. I prefer it, I think it's the perfect barbecue wood as far as the smoke. And they actually try to run out of food every day. But trust me, it's a good thing. We cook what we think we can sell in a day's time, whether it be a slow Monday or a busy Saturday. I will not reheat anything. We won't serve any leftover ribs or brisket. or It's just not the same quality. While they serve Memphis and Carolina-style barbecue, the pit boss says the Texas-style brisket is the real star. It is our big thing. That's what I fell in love with originally. It's what I've spent most of my uh, barbecue life trying to perfect, and that's, that's my baby. We keep this one to touch meat and everything else, and we keep this one so you got a clean hand on a knife and a good grip. Ah, so we like Michael Jackson it. Yeah, okay. yeah basically. We uh, start with a good brisket. Can I try picking that up? How you heavy can. is that? This one's probably about oh, 16 pounds. Oh, yeah. You can, you can definitely feel this. What we're going to do is just remove some of the loose stuff. So you want the hard fat, not the... Not the yeah, soft the soft ones. fat will tend to render down. Now we're going to cook this almost 15 hours. Oh, Just cook. 15 we put it, hours? We put them in at seven o'clock, uh, six o'clock at night, and they come out uh, anywhere between eight and ten the next day. After that, it's time to season it. We have our special house brisket rub. Uh, no secrets. It's pretty simple. It's equal parts of kosher salt, and I use a large grain black pepper, and there's a little bit of garlic in it. Real simple. Oh, it is simple. Yeah, it, it, it really lets the meat flavor stand out. Make a pit master out of you yet? Yeah, you can do this. Absolutely. Then into the smoker it goes. And it comes out nice and juicy. And we've had people that have lived in, in Texas for years or traveled you know, to Michigan from Texas and tried it and said it's really the closest that they've ever had outside of Texas. Can you say dark, burnt, and crispy? There you go. The pit boss, Steve Bubba Coddington, is here with us, and Scott Maloney, co owner of the Woodpile, will come in in just a minute. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. Oh, thanks for letting us peek over your shoulders. So, what is yes. it that makes the difference between your place and other barbecue joints? Uh, the difference between us and everybody else is we cook fresh every day. Uh, okay. Our meats, our big meats, our brisket and pork went on last night about six, seven o'clock. Uh -huh. uh, I actually came off the smoker today between nine and 10 o'clock. So when you show up at 11, wow. that meat is literally fresh. Our ribs, sausage, everything is cooked fresh this morning. Mm -hmm. We don't, anything left over tonight goes to a food bank. Uh, we serve mm -hmm. nothing reheated. Very okay. cool. So you say that good food can't be rushed. That's what it says on your website. It cannot. Low and slow. Okay, we low cook, and slow. We uh, cook between five and 15 hours on all of our food. Wow. So do you want us uh, to help you make something? Because yeah. if you look at Tati and I, the first thing you say is barbecue <laughs> experts. Right? Yeah. Right. So my, what do you want yeah. us to help? My grill masters here. Uh, we're going to do a bacon wrapped uh, jalapeno today. Uh, oh. Short term is ABT or atomic buffalo turd, if all we can right. say that. Oh, atomic I did. Well, you just buffalo. did. These are quick. These are a <laughs> wonderful uh, appetizer. Do you want to uh, you you yeah. do anything? Yeah, go ahead and cut, cut off it the open. ends. Yep, cut off the ends. Okay. Cut it in half, down lengthwise. All right. But all the way down? All the way down. All the way down. Okay. Yep. Right. With your other finger, you're going to scoop out as much seeds and 
of the uh, vein as you want. All right. The more you leave in there, the hotter they are. Oh, I always I see. like okay. to leave. A, it's I make those a batch. seeds, right? That are all the heat. The seeds are. The, uh, no, it's actually, it's the veins that are the heat. The, the veins. Yeah, okay. yeah. You get rid of all right. the vein. I always make a big batch and leave one fully seeded just to see who gets that one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna, <laughs> Keep it interesting. We're going to spoon in a mixture of, uh, this is our cream cheese uh, mixed in. It's got some minced uh, onion in it and our all-purpose rub that we use at okay. Woodpile. Okay. And that's all mixed up? Yep. Okay. Just scoop it in. And you fill that to your heart's content? Yeah, is that as much the idea? as you want. Not too yeah. much. It's going to overflow, but basically get a nice... Yeah. That's about perfect, yeah. Now, we're wearing gloves. Are there, are there any other tips about this? Because what if you don't like things really hot? You're... Um, the gloves are for protection of your hands. If you yeah, were to yeah. cut these and then obviously touch your body parts or get in your eye, we don't want it. We don't want that to happen. Yeah, you yeah. guys have red eyes the rest of the show today. Sure. Yeah. So you're going to take that once it's stuffed, wrap it, uh, uh, about a half piece of bacon on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're using a thinner cut bacon. Thick cut bacon will just take so long to cook. We want this to actually crisp up. You call this thin cut. So uh, you're you're thinner. You're in a cut. different league than yeah. the rest of mere our, mortals. Our candy yeah. bacon is made with <laughs> so double funny. thick cut bacon. Is it really? So it is. All right. Is that right? Am I wrapping That's it? That's perfect. Okay. So you'd set yeah, a couple of those. Okay. Exactly. Gotcha. Ooh. Put a little bit more rub on top. Okay. okay. Now those could either go on your smoker if you're setting up a grill indirect for uh, low and slow heating. Actually, these mm -hmm. come out great on just okay, a grill tell, at 350 okay. or Thank you, even. Chuck. Thank you. If it's raining out, cook them in the oven. There you go. Uh, these will be a hit at any party. You see how simple they are to make. You make up a couple dozen, take them. And forgive me, famous. you said how fast will this go if you want? Uh, these will cook in about 30, 35 minutes. Okay. Okay. Right. You make, basically, you're cooking them until the bacon gets crispy. Okay, so yeah. yeah, you talk about making things, you know, at the wood pile slow, but yeah. at home sometimes we've got to get things done. Mm -hmm. Kids are coming over, right. we got to. So you go. come home late from night. Uh, you want to get on the grill. You want to get outside. It's finally spring in Detroit. Uh, we're going to do a quick, very quick rib recipe. Uh, this can be done on your grill at home. This can okay. again, this could also be done in the oven. We're just going to take a rack of ribs. I've cut these in half just to promote uh, cooking a little faster. Mm -hmm. we've got rub on both sides. So we're going to wrap them up double foil. Wrap them up nice Double and tight. Foil. Yep. So we're gonna throw this on a grill about 350 uh, in the oven. Same thing about 350. Mm -hmm. Okay. For about for about an hour. Take them out after an hour. At that point, what we have is the finished product. After Already an hour. Cooked. That's crazy. Yeah, in cook. an hour. The, the the foil helps them steam. Yeah. Okay. These cook literally an hour on the grill. Come Take on. them off. You can at this point add a little bit of barbecue sauce. Put them back on the grill 15 yeah. minutes. Get the glaze on, mm. and you can see these are. I mean, these are literally full. Oh yeah, that's you know, awesome. The bone will the bone will come right you out. You have to and flip that's the only foil. After an hour, you have to. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, flip them every 15, 20 minutes. Okay. To keep 20. the juices flowing okay. around. But that's you see that nice. I cooked these an hour and 15, and the bone fell right. That's out. crazy. Yeah. Not 100% barbecue, but it can be done fast. If you do it on a grill, you're still going to get some smoke flavor. Yeah. Wonderful product. So let's okay. talk about tree. If I want real barbecue, I'm coming to yeah, see you. Yeah, let's bring in Scott because we'll he's the one that was handling in. ice cream. Okay. Hey, Scott. How are you? Good. So let's okay. talk about this ice cream barbecue fusion. Sure, sure. Okay. So this is our signature Sunday here. This is our um, our pig Sunday, and we start with you could have it with <laughs> any flavor of ice cream, but our best seller at Tree Dreams is our salted caramel, mm -hmm, which happens so to be my favorite. So we start with that. Your favorite. Thank yep. you for coming in. My Appreciate it. Um, we top it with candy bacon, whipped cream, cherry. Um, but the best part is the bourbon caramel sauce that we Lord, put on there have too. Mercy. And if you oh want to make that at home, pick up some caramel sauce. We make it from scratch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pick up caramel sauce, add maybe one quarter amount of bourbon, and you've got a bourbon caramel sauce too. It's fantastic. Bacon on ice cream. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of Atkins. It is. Right? It's kind of. I mean, it's you know, kind of. It was the first weird ice cream that we did at Tree Dreams like five and a half yeah. years ago. We did a Sunday breakfast with bacon in it. We continue to do stuff like that. We've made over a thousand flavors of ice cream. I heard you talk yeah. about the Michigan Science Center, the bug event. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing a chocolate covered grasshopper ice cream for that event. For too. real. You're for gonna, real. Oh my. Yeah, they commissioned us to do that, so we'll be there uh, right. as well this week. So I might try his flavor. Yeah. That, and, okay. and real quick, why only outdoor seating? <laughs> um, the, the, the area, this place that we had was not. Uh, didn't have enough room for indoors. Okay. Okay. It's, okay. it's really as simple as that. Yeah. yeah. It does have a co covered pergola, so it when it snows on Sunday, you'll be covered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's show real let's quick some in. of your other items so you've got here. This is our signature uh, plate. This is our wood pile sandwich. It's okay. about a pound of meat. It's got uh, pulled pork, brisket, our jalapeno sausage, and candied bacon. Wow. Um, this is our Carolina barbecue sandwich. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our Ode to Carolina. It's simple pulled pork with our uh, honey mustard. Um, Beautiful. Uh, coleslaw, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, our most famous thing that we do is our slow cooked brisket. Uh, the brisket's been cooked 15 hours. You gotta get a good shot. But that's a plate with sausage, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Also, that's a All combo right. with our sausage, 
our uh, Cheesy Mac, and again, our coleslaw. All right. Uh, this is our double cut smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. our, uh, we call it our pig candy. Okay. Bacon. A lot of sugar, a little bit of black. And we're going to try these. We got to wrap it up. Yeah, these are the finished These are not product. that hot, right? Oh, these are. Yeah, I right. took all the stems out. Are the seeds? Are these? I promise. All right. All right. Do you want to finish up? Yes, I'll. I got you. Okay. <laughs> so tell us, you guys. Do you guys cater? Let me ask you that. Really uh, we quickly. do cater. We cater pretty much uh, for any of event. We've done events. Uh, we do pig and whiskey. We do uh, our Earth Beats and Eats. So we do large events. We do small events. We have a ton of weddings coming up this year. So awesome. Absolutely. Uh, that's Very what good. we got into is catering good. and uh, vending to begin awesome. with. Awesome. So tell us your location one more time, really. We are 303. Uh, South Main Street in Clawson. There you Good go. Good to see you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys Thank so you. Much Thanks for, being for having here. us. Yeah.